What's up, Wayne Baron? Here with DarkPlex.net, and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate, and we have ourselves a question. Let's bring it over, and it's from Cuppy Cakes, and she asks, "Change image from one to another when you click a button, basically like an image gallery, like we got right here." And so, what she's wanting to do is simple: click, choose each one of the images, and wow! So we've got cool tigers awesome cool button cool bunnies awesome and a mean kitty awesome mean kitty so anyway that's what we're going to be doing so let's go ahead and jump into it go ahead and create a new composition and let's go ahead and add in some elements to begin with this right here is going to be our image frame. Let's go ahead and rename it to image frame. And now we want to come over here, grab a hold of a button, and then click here. And let's go ahead and change our corners to 8, and we want to change all these to 20. Okay, so now let's go ahead and duplicate this. Control C, Command B, and bring it out. Okay, so we got five buttons here. Let's go ahead and select them. Let's go ahead and drag it to right here, the center. Let's go ahead and change our color of each one of them. We want to make these uh, blue. Let's go ahead and copy this color right here. Okay, let's go ahead and open up a notepad and paste in our blue color because we're going to need it here after a while. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is that we want to save our project. And we're going to save our project here. So, and now we're going to come in here. We're going to save as. And we're going to go back into our gallery, grab a hold of our images, come back in here, paste them. And then we're going to do a save as again. And it loads our images for us. So, now what we want to do is that we want to grab a hold of each one of our images and add them in. So, let's go ahead and do our first image. And we want to resize these images to the size that we want. And then center them. That looks good. And then do all of them like this. Okay. Uh, so now uh, let's go ahead and do our buttons first. Uh, we're going to name this first button and then the second one second button okay so let's go ahead and do our stacking order over here we want to drag our first well let's go ahead and grab a hold of our image frame drag our image frame to the top take each one of our images and then make them a child of our image frame Let's go ahead and change the background background color of our image frame. And now let's take our buttons. Want to drag them to the top. Whoops. Want our bunny. Okay, so we're going to start off with the awesome, which is this one. Then we're going to go to the next one, next one, next one, next one. So let's go ahead and select all these images here. Drop their opacity down to zero. Okay, so we're going to come out here. We want to have a welcome message. Let's go ahead and type out our welcome message. Welcome to our gallery. Please click a button below to start. Let's see how many words that I misspelled. Uh, welcome to our gallery. Please click a button below to start. Did pretty good. Let's put a period at the end. Selection. Let's go ahead and center this right there. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is that we want our welcome to the gallery to fade in. So let's go ahead and let it fade in. Drag right there. Drag back. And come here. So now it will fade in. And then we want it to fade out. So with our selection, drag it down to zero. 
So now we're going to create a label. You can click here and we want to welcome in and then come over here and then control L, command L on a Mac and then we want to welcome out. Okay, so, but we need to grab a hold of our stop, playback, stop, click, and then click here. So now to grab a hold of that stop, control C, command C on the Mac, and paste it right there. Okay, so now whenever we run it, it's going to have our welcome screen for us. It's going to load for us. Now you're going to have it to animate on just a little bit longer if you want. Save it, come over here, load it. Okay, see it animates on just a little bit slower. You can have it as long as you want for the beginning animation. Okay, so now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna come out to here and we want to create a label. So this is gonna be one in and then come out to here and then label one out. Wanna do this all the way up to five. So this is gonna be two in. Okay, let's come back here to our one. And then we want to choose our first image. So it's going to be our awesome image. And then we're going to click here, drag it out, set it to 100. Come over. Oops. Keep this right there. Come over here to our first button and then we want to change its color to red go ahead and copy out that color this is our blue color that we pasted inside of a notepad earlier and now this is our red color so let's go ahead and choose our blue come over here click drag this out choose well since we're still on our button let's go ahead and paste that in back to blue and then we also want to choose our awesome and then drop it down to zero. So basically we're going to be doing two animations on each label. Come out to our two and we want to make this a capital T. Okay, so now let's go ahead and click it, drag it out to there and then choose. Okay, now with our bunny selected, let's go ahead and bring it up to 100. And then we want to come over here to our second button. And then we want to change its color to red. And then come out, drag this. Basically, we're just going to create the same as we did on the first one. Get this. And select our second button and back to blue. So now let's come over here. So I missed the dad sign, so let's drag it down to here. And we are going to change its opacity to 100. I mean, if you miss one, no big deal. You just go ahead and move it down from above. And then everything should work out just right. Go to some blue. Okay, so that should take care of all of them. Everything looks good. So now let's go ahead and copy Control C, Command C on a Mac, and we want to paste them at the end of every one of our animations. You can always go in here and change the animation. Uh, just remember that you got to change it on both of them if uh, it doesn't seem like it's long enough. And then change your stop, maybe stop over. But you had to do it to each and every one of them, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So anyway, let's go ahead and save that. So now what we got to do is that we got to go in and add some actions to our buttons. So what we want to do is that we want to come in. So a one in and a one out. 
but we're just going to do our ins. We're not going to mess with our outs. Our outs, our labels are just here so that we know where our out is at for our colors and our opacity. So we're just going to be doing our ins. Let's go ahead and choose our first button here. Click. And then we're going to type in sim.play. And then we want to do 1M. Now you can simply come down here as well and choose playback, play from, stage, and then basically you're going to get all that. But that's just a few more, a few too many steps that I don't want to take right now. Let's come over here, choose our second button, click, and we choose 2 in. And then our third button, click. So, 1 in, 2 in, 3 in, 4 in, 5 in. Save it. Come over here. Load it. Click. 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 And that main kitty. So, there you go. That's all you gotta do. It's that simple. Okay, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net inside of Adobe Edge Animate. And for our... Cubby Cakes, I hope this is what you wanted. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.